if you're preparing for a PhD interview, you know that it's a crucial step towards achieving your academic and professional goals. Not only do you need to showcase your knowledge and skills, but you also need to demonstrate your fit with the program and the institution. But with so much at stake, it can be overwhelming to know what to expect and how to prepare. So in this video, I'll be sharing with you a comprehensive list of common PhD interview questions that you can expect, compiled from successful applicants who are accepted into top-ranked schools. From discussing your research interests and experiences to explaining your long-term career goals and your fit for the program. I've got you covered. Let's go. I'll walk you through each question and provide tips on how to craft a strong and convincing answer. If you're ready to ace your PhD interview and stand out from the competition, let's get started. Hi everyone. My name is Dr. Banda Khalifa. I am a PhD student at the Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health. I was also a Hopkins MPH and MBA SOMA scholar. On this channel, I share strategies to help empower prospective applicants and graduate students to break their academic and personal developmental barriers. If you are new, kindly subscribe, like, share so that others can benefit. Let's get started. I've divided this set of questions into three teams. Team one are the general questions. So let's look at the most common questions that you will likely encounter under the general team. One of the common questions you are likely to get, and it can come in several forms, is can you briefly tell me about yourself? The strategy to answer this question is that usually you have to keep your answer focused on your academic and professional background, as well as any relevant experiences or skills that you may have that differentiates you from the other candidates. Think of this question as an icebreaker and a way to calm your nerves and initiate you into the interview. Another common question is, can you discuss your experience working in a team and how you've ensured that team initiatives are often accomplished? So the strategy is that you have to think about the elements that make up an effective teamwork, right? So you have to talk about clear communication, collaboration with your team, your opening to feedback and constructive criticism, as well as setting goals that are smart enough in order to be achieved. So in a PhD setting, you're likely to work with in teams uh, where you would have to uh, make sure that irrespective of the difficulties, you are able to achieve your ultimate uh, goal or objective. The question is, how have you dealt with conflicts? and challenges in your previous positions. As a team player, or in this particular example, the tip is that you need to elaborate strategies that can be helpful for dealing with conflicts in teams and challenges in teams. So you have to think about open and honest communication. You have to talk about how you are able to negotiate. You have to talk about mediation. You have to talk about the fact that sometimes you have to compromise and you're able to seek help when needed. So these are the kind of things that you need to talk about in answering this particular question. So another common question is, what motivates you to seek a PhD position now? Or why do you think you are the best candidate for this program? So in answering these questions, um, think about your motivation. So your motivations can be a desire to advance your career, uh, a desire to contribute to the field of research, um, a desire to teach at a university level or a desire to gain expertise in a particular subject area. Um, you have to also demonstrate your ability to think critically and analytically, uh, strong verbal and written communication skills. Let them know you're self-motivated and you can work independently. That is how you'll be able to demonstrate that you're the best fit for the program. You're also likely to encounter the question of why this school or why this program. Think about this in several ways and you have to do your research. Uh, you can come up with reasons, uh, whether it is ranking of the school, the reputation of the school in the field, research opportunities you are likely to get, the kind of collaborations you will have and the centers available in the school, a wide range of academic programs and sometimes you know you have to talk about whether you think the students 
uh, body is diverse enough and how that would also impact your learning. Another common question, can you discuss your, your approach to solving a problem and how you apply it in the research? And this is simple. The strategy is to use this criteria. You always identify a problem, you generate solutions, you evaluate the solutions, you select the best solution, and then you implement the solution, right? So these are the steps that you can use in answering this particular question. Another common question that you're likely to encounter is, can you discuss your experience managing teams? So in, in this particular question, what they are looking out for is for you to be able to tell how you can manage teams. So using skills like goal setting, effective communication, conflict resolution, delegation, positive team culture, and the rest. So expanding on these can get you ahead in answering this kind of question. A common question that you're likely to get is, can you discuss a situation where you were overwhelmed and how you have handled the pressure in previous roles? Understand that the PhD program is very, very demanding. So what you have to talk about, the strategy is to talk about prioritization. So you prioritize tasks and focus on the most important one first. Clear communication to teammates. Uh, you break your, your tasks down into smaller components. You practice self-care like meditation, exercise, and then you, you seek support when you think things are becoming too much. So these are how, these are the ways that you can answer that particular question. Another question that can come in another form is why are you the best candidate for our competitive SWOT? In this question, this is your time to demonstrate your knowledge of the program itself and how the program aligns with your goals and interests. You should also be able to talk about how you see yourself contributing to the research and academic community in that particular institution. Next question. Can you talk us through your strengths and weaknesses and how you think that will impact your PhD program? It's a bad idea to say, I don't have any weaknesses. The strategy is that you have to do self-reflection, right? Uh, you have to identify at least three weaknesses and three strengths before you go into the interview uh, room. So um, I have a video that is dedicated to answering what are your weaknesses kind of questions or what are your strengths kind of questions. So look out for that particular video. Another question you're likely to encounter is, do you have any questions about the program or the research? So you see, asking questions can help you demonstrate your interest and understanding of the program and can give you an opportunity to clarify any concerns or uncertainties you might have. You go, before you go into the interview, prepare at least three thought-provoking questions that you, you would like to ask the, uh, the panelist, right? So it can be from your expectations to maybe the facilities and the support system that is in the school or maybe the departmental culture and community for PhD students, or like how their mentorship and their supporters, um, and whether there are opportunities for students to participate in interdisciplinary research or collaboration. All these are questions that you have to prepare before you get into the interview room. In the next two teams, we are just going to run through the questions because um, I, don't, I, I didn't want to make this video very long. So the field specific questions would depend on the program you are applying to. If you are applying to an epidemiology related field, then you can be asked questions like, what distinguishes epidemiology from biostatistics? Another question, how did you discuss your capstone or thesis project with your advisor? Um, three, can you discuss your long-term career goals and how this program will help you achieve them? Four, what classes did you appreciate in your master's program? Can you discuss your previous academic achievements and how they have prepared you for this program? Another question you're likely to get under this team is what specific faculty or group projects 
piqued your interest and five theme three features research specific questions question number one can be in a form of you know discussing a paper or a research project that you have been involved with um, another question is to tell us about Tell us about your research interests and how they align with our program. Next question is why is a PhD required for your research interests that you've discussed? And last but two, how would you justify the significance of your research in the area or in the field? And can you please describe your research methods, findings, and next steps for a recent project or capstone? Did I miss anything? Kindly share your questions that you got in your PhD interview um, if I haven't captured all. So, there you have it. Some of the common questions that you may encounter during your PhD interview process, compiled from successful PhD applicants at top ranked schools. Remember that you have to be prepared, you have to articulate your thoughts clearly, and showcase your passion and enthusiasm for your field. Thanks for watching and good luck with your interview. Bye-bye.